Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is my channel. And I've been in kind of a blah mood lately. The fact that I've started recording and the weather went great does not help me any. I'm just like, really? 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 We're going to do this? Anyway, um, today we're talking about things we're making Thursday. I would love it if you hook the subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. I love commenting. I love conversations. It's really fun to have conversations with people in their comment section, so we'd love it if we'd start doing that here. Um, I have not been working on pretty much anything. I have a shawl I'm working on and a skirt I'm working on, and I'm like blah to everything else and that included Tunisian crochet that included the mystery yarn challenge that included Judy's um bird of the month cow like all the things I'm just like oh so um today I've been sitting down and I'm like I'm gonna try leaves before we start here I'm gonna link the tutorials that I almost kind of follow um I haven't done one of them I want to maybe I'll do that when we're done here we'll see um, and I want to make my leaves with this yarn but I definitely have to have my technique down first so I'm using this yarn this is just a big twist value acrylic I got in a mystery yarn challenge this is some kind of I don't know where the yarn band is but this is from Hobby Lobby that's all I remember um yeah so this is what I've got and I thought I would kind of show you how I did it see the one I didn't like because the picture showed kind of a this shape but then her technique didn't show that shape so I was like well how'd you do that and I watched that tutorial so long ago that I've just been playing around with that on my own figuring this out so I'm gonna undo this And we're gonna start again and I'm not doing this tutorial style just because it's just so much effort but I do want to kind of tell you and show you what I'm doing so I'm um, put my slip knot on I just have a regular hook and I'm chaining I'm gonna chain what did I decide six one two three four five six you can experiment with different hook or chain sizes okay um, so I already have one on my hook. At the end, I have to pick up six more. So when I get done, if I picked up the right number, I will have seven loops on my hook, okay? You're gonna go into your next chain as if you were going to do a single crochet and pick up a stitch. It's just so like a single, if I were to complete the single crochet, I'd yarn over, go through them. Not completing it, I'm leaving those two on. I'm gonna do that one more time in the next chain. This is basic Tunisian crochet. You go along and you pick up all your loops. Now here's where it's a little different. Um, I do believe this is an actual technique, but if it's not, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna go in my next one as if I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm gonna pick up a loop and I'm gonna go through my first two, two just like I was doing a double crochet. And then I'm gonna leave that on my hook. So now I've got four, and I'm going to do that again. Yarn over, go in my next stitch as if I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to go through that first part of the double crochet, but leave that last one on my hook. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to pick up one more. Hey, somehow I only have six. Maybe I'm only supposed to have six. Did I skip a step? Maybe I'm only supposed to have six, so I just picked up one more. Now I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the thing where you go through and you kind of do a chain on the end. I'm actually going to yarn over, come back through both, two, yarn over, come through 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 two. So this is what I have so far. Okay, I'm going to chain one, I'm going to come back over and in my first 
chain on the other side. So I, I so here I was, I chained one. I'm turning my work over. And then I'm gonna slip stitch in the first chain. And then that will leave me one hook. So I'm gonna go into my next one and pick up a loop, just like I was gonna do a single crochet, but not go through. And then my next one. Now I'm gonna do a double. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through my next stitch, pick up my loop, go through those first two, leave the rest. Yarn over, go through the next one, pick up a stitch, go through those first two, leave the rest. So far, and I, well, I'm gonna do my not last stitch. I'm gonna pull my last stitch off here. I'm gonna go pick up my last one. So I'm just gonna stick my thing in like I was doing a single and pick it up. Now, so far, this looks like um, when you do decreases. So like when you do a um, double de double crochet decrease, you're gonna yarn over, go through, pick up a loop, go through one, um, one set, leave it on the hook, go through, do that again, and then you pull through all of the loops. So if I was doing decreases, I would yarn over and pull through all of the loops. I am not doing decreases. I am doing a Tunisian crochet technique. So I've got all my stitches. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two. Regular Tunisian crochet, you do a little chain right there. That doesn't work for the leaves. So I'm just gonna yarn over, pull through two until I'm off. And so far this is what we've got. And I really am liking that shape at the bottom, but the top's kind of weird. So I'm gonna do a, a chain, turn my work, and I'm gonna slip stitch over to the other side. And maybe if I hadn't have done my slip stitch, that would have worked. And then if I yarn over and cut off. So that's kind of a fun little shape. Um, I'm gonna do it again. And this time, I'm going to try it without doing that single crochet and see what we get. So I'm gonna chain three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do seven. No, I'm gonna stay with six. Okay, six chains. I'm gonna go in as if I was gonna single crochet, pick up my one stitch, leave two on my thing. Um, go in again and leave two. Now I'm gonna yarn over, and by the way, you can do triples if you want to. I'll show you a triple, but I'll take it back out. So you're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop, go through the first two, and then leave it on the hook. If I was gonna do a triple, which can be fun, it gets you a little more distance, but I did such short chains, I don't wanna do a triple. You would yarn over twice, just like you were gonna do a treble crochet. You stick it in like you're gonna pull it up, you're gonna go through your first two, you're gonna go up through your second two, you're gonna leave it on, and so now you've got a treble on there, and then you would do work your next stitch. I'm gonna take that out and do another double, pull through the two, and then I'm gonna go with my last one and just pull up, and so now I have six stitches on my hook. I guess I was wrong. I must have been miscounting earlier. Every time I got um, an extra stitch on my thing, I must have been miscounting. Because like here I am getting exactly the number of stitches I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how many I chained. Okay, so now I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, pull through two. This time I'm gonna do my how would I do that with again and get a little point there? I'm gonna chain one still no chain two. I'm gonna leave that one there. So I'm gonna end up with seven, two, three, yarn over and do a double. This is what I do, guys. I'm like, try stuff till I like it. Um, okay, I finished off the rest of this just like I did. 
Now I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I left that first one there. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through two, 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 yarn over, go through two. And that should be my ending, but that didn't work. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two. And I still get this weirdness here. But when I turned to slip it, it got me a little bit nicer edge there at the end. So I would cut that and put that out. So just kind of play with it. I don't know, maybe one of the video tutorials has better information, but I like the shape and I get that shape changing the tutorial by adding some um, double crochets in there. I don't know. Guys, I just seriously, my my Crojo, so bad. The nice thing about doing leaves is that you can just use a regular crochet hook. You don't need a Tunisian crochet hook for cr leaves, so that's nice. I hope that you're having fun with Tunisian crochet. Um, experiment, play with things, try different things. Take concepts you already know and experiment with the new concepts. I think that's how um, different stitches are made. I, I, I'm liking the leaf. I really do. I'm hoping that I can do it with this yarn. This yarn's a little bit harder because it changes sides, sizes, so it's hard for me to see where my thing is. Like here is my original, I was trying to do a leaf. And because the yarn had thick spots, it came out really wonky. Maybe it will. Maybe for this kind of leaf, I will just choose to find a yarn in similar color to this or a darker version of this, um, but not with the texture and just do it with plain yarn. Oh no, um, I am adding this in I finished a leaf in this green stuff. Now the texture is kind of weird because the yarn is so different so it's got like big holes in some spots um, which you know that's fine. I might use a smaller hook when I was doing it but I wanted to show you the difference in the end here and how I did that. So I've got my thing here again. And I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> I'm going to add this in and see what we got. Okay, so I'm going to do my six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to do that same thing. Pick up one, pick up one. I'm going to do a double. Just go through that bottom one, leave it on my hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. The yarn over leave that bottom on my hook and my last one okay so I've got just like I did before and I'm doing my two going through two as I go back working my way back working my way back um, and then I've got I've got to here now on this one here I did add a triple in on each side to make it a little bit wider but I also started with a longer chain Okay, so this time I am not going to do anything other than turn my work and insert my hook into that spot, pull up my yarn, pull up my next one, got my three, I'm going to go in, do my double, pull it up, do my double, pull it up. I don't know how it is that this I don't know where the extra loop came through for the other stuff. Maybe it, I chained or went in the wrong place. I don't know. Gonna get my hook in this last, this last one, pull it up. So now got my six loops on. And the difference was I did nothing up here because if I turn my work, go in the back of my chain. Two, two, two. Two, two, 
And then if I just chain one and tie it off, I've got my little point there. Um, I do have a little weirdness right here, but um, when I tie, it was like had a little funky loop. This loop here, um, something was off in my tension right there, I think. But when I tie this end in, I can make sure that that pulls over into the inside. But that's my new little thing. And oh my gosh, guys, it's so much easy. Why did I not do that before? Don't chain or anything there if you want it. It just it works out so much better. It's just perfect. So silly. Anyway, there you go. There's the updated one. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. Enjoy the creative process, learning new things, coming up with your own things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!